Hello everyone, my name is Otavio and this is the Galilean Library and today I'm here with my top 10 books of 2015. Now before I actually start talking about what I want to talk in this video, there's a great announcement to make. I'll be participating on a live show over at SFF 180 and it's a live show about our top favorite books of 2015. So this is the perfect video to announce that. So the live show will happen on the 16th at, I think, 1 p.m. Central Time. So that should be really, really fun. I just want to put it out there that my top 10 books are not very representative of my ratings. I mean, the higher the rating, the more likely it is one of my top 10. But I think the most important thing that I'm looking for here is how memorable the book was, how much it affected me, how important it was for me during the past year. So yes. But if you do want to see my top rated books of 2015, among other reading statistics for the year, I've written a blog post and I'm going to link it up here and down below as well and basically contains all of the cool statistics stuff for 2015 and it was so much fun to make that. It's a really fun blog post and yes, uh, leave your comments there as well and let's start with the actual books. At number 10 I have The Goblin Emperor by Catherine Addison and this was a very surprising read for me. I picked it up for, I think it was for the Booktube Reading Buddies Fantasy, uh, February Fantasy Challenge, and it was such an amazing read. I was not expecting to love it, I was expecting that it was going to be okay, but I really, really loved it. And it's one of those very slow-paced books, very subtle, but it's so, so interesting. I adored this book. The characters are fantastic. At number nine, I have a short story, and that is The Meeker and the All-Seeing Eye by Matthew Kressel, and I'm going to link it down below if you want to read it. It's one of my favorite short stories of the past year, and it also won the BookTube SFF Award for Short Fiction, which is pretty great. And yes, if you haven't read that already, please do. It's a really, really fun story to read. It's short, obviously, so you can read it in like 40 minutes or something like that. It was amazing. The next one is Anathem by New Stephenson, and I think this one popped up in other people's top favorites of the year. And I read this because of Rachel's review over at Kalanati, and she, it was so intriguing that I had just had to look into it. And it was my first New Stephenson book ever, and I'm actually at the moment reading Seven Eves and really, really loving it as well. So yes, thank you, Rachel, for introducing me to this amazing book. I really, really loved it. At number seven, I have The City of Stairs by Robert Jackson Bennett, and this is such a thrilling novel. It's it's kind of like an unconventional fantasy, I thought. It was very different from anything that I've read before, but it was so, so good, and it, it's very fast-paced as well. Um, there is some slight problems with the plot, but Still, it was such a fantastic novel, and I cannot wait to read the sequel. I think it's City of Swords, I think. I think? Yes. And it's coming out at the end of this month. I hope it's good, because this one set the bar so high for me, specifically, and yes, I cannot wait for the sequel. At number six, I have Old Men's War by John Scalzi. And, oh my god, this book is so good. I think the majority of everybody has already read it. I did a review, I'll link it up here as well. And, yes, yeah, so good. And I think this was the reason why John Scalzi was my most read author of 2015. I think I read five books by him. Not all in this series, but the majority of them were books from this series. I have not finished the series yet, but yes. So good. So, so good. It's so fun to read, and it's... I think one of those things you can just pick up and read in one sitting and it will be great. At number five, another surprise favorite, which was Planet Fall by Emma Newman. And as I said in my last wrap up, I did not love the ending of this book, but overall it was just such an amazing journey. I loved it. I think it has some of the most interesting depictions of um, mental illness that I've ever read about and it was very different and it's so tense 
you feel tense with the character as things are unraveling. It also has, in my opinion, the coolest, well, I think it's actually the only depiction I've seen in a science fiction setting of 3D printing, which was so good. So much fun to read about. At number four, I have The People in the Trees by Hanya and Agihara. And this book is very subtle and it's not a very easy subject to read about either. It's very, very harsh and very dense. It's a, it's a dense book, but it was so good. The subtlety in just the structure of the novel. I also did a review, I'll link it up here. And yes, the subtlety in the structure of the novel was fantastic. It's a mock memoir and the auth author of the memoir, which is also a fictional character in the book, uh, he the way he writes the memoir is just as important as what is actually in the story and i thought that was so fantastically done and yes i cannot wait to read more by hanya nagahara this one was so so good now the top three they are in a specific order but it was a hard hard order to put them in because i love them so much they have completely shaped my taste in books this year and they have been amazing and wow uh, these books are probably like in my favorites of all time list because they're just so good so number three i have the left hand of darkness by ursula k le guin and this book it moved me so much it was such an amazing read and that's my food i have to stop it was the first ursula k le guin book that i've read ever and i cannot wait to read more by her this was so good this is a book with a message it's one of those classic feminist science fiction books and i absolutely recommend everybody to read this if not because it would be an amazing book to read because it is such an important part of science fiction history and of feminist history um, especially in english-speaking countries and Yes, I cannot recommend this book highly enough. It was so good. It was such an amazing read. At number two, I have The Just City by Joe Walton. Also so fantastic. This book, I think, pulls on a lot of my favorite things. Science fiction, fantasy, because it's like a, a mix of both, and philosophy. I loved studying philosophy in high school and in college and one of my other favorite books of all time is Sophie's World and this made me feel like I was reading that again but in a completely different way. While Sophie's World discusses um, philosophy, they're talking about it, novel long discussion about philosophy on the history of philosophy, this one actually puts some of it in practice and it's about how a group of people are developing Plato's Republic and it was so good. The discussions are amazing and the way different people in interpret different things of Plato's initial text and his um, thoughts is I think very relevant to philosophical thought itself. You know, it's how it happens it's how we as you know human beings do things we interpret things different ways and if we all interpreted things the same way it would be an awfully boring lot and yes such an amazing book I loved it now the number one has got to be a part of the most impactful series that I've read in 2015 and that is Ancillary Justice by Anne Leckie. I know this book has probably been in other people's top 10 lists of, I think, 2013 and 2014, but not 2015. That was when I finally read it. And wh why, w why did I wait so long? This was an amazing read. Also very subtle and so fantastic. I think the universe that Leckie has created here is amazing. And I'm at the moment reading the third and final book in the trilogy, Ancillary Mercy, and also loving it. I also really loved the second book, Ancillary Sword, and I 
cannot recommend this book highly enough, but I think at this point the majority of people have read it as well. So that was it for my favorite books of 2015. I hope you guys enjoy it. And don't forget to check out my blog post on the 2015 reading statistics. So yes, I will see you guys next time. Ciao.